What's up vlog? I promised you guys another angle fly video, a coach jump I did with Jason Russell of Skydive Chicago, wherein I crash into a world champion. Anyways, here it is. <laughs> much better awareness um, looking at me as we leave the plane and following me that before it was maybe one or two seconds before you picked me up so this is much better um, cool little bit of adjustment there with your head to go a little steeper just checking the spot and then here we go perfect so from here, I said a little bit forward and a little bit up. And then I don't know, I, I don't know if I was banking left the whole time. I thought I was going reasonably straight, but then we kept getting separation between the two of us. So um, I was definitely conscious of that second angle group and I don't know those guys. So I just want to make sure we were uh, pr pretty good direction, um, not getting anywhere near them. Um, Okay, so I think this is still a relatively flat fall rate. Yeah. Um, and I think you said you were floaty before? Okay. Um, so here we go, a little bit steeper. Now, uh, have you done tr uh, just tracking jumps? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, so the way that I learned on just tracking jumps, like if you're gonna leave, be the last person out of the plane, say a 10 way, it's gonna be a long way away when you get out. So um, a buddy of mine told me to think about the kind of the point of your forehead, just take it down and that'll put you steeper and then lift your chin up when you wanna flare out a little bit. And, and I took it in sort of a stair step approach to get down there so I didn't kill anybody when I got there. Um, but it's the same kind of idea that you wanna, um, you wanna break the angle at your hips and a lot of times the easiest way to think about that is to point your head down lower, leading with that sort of spot yeah. on the front. Yeah, and that's something, I mean, you, usually when I was on tracking dives, I would just kind of like tuck my arms behind yeah. my BOC and then I would nail that, that angle. So I've been, I've been really working on flying with the legs more and, and getting that. So that was the other thing that I'm gonna say is that you have fall rate control that you can modulate with your arm position. Yeah. And if your arms drop way, way back, then you're obviously gonna be going faster towards the earth, less resistance, and as you bring them more towards your hips, more resistance and you float more. So here I'd say you probably could have released your arms a little bit. Uh, the, the issue, uh, not issue, the, the trade-off there is that you may be letting go of some of the control you have on the wind. So you might feel a little more tippy when you don't have that, yeah, that pressure on the side. <laughs> I do. Okay. Big time. Okay. Ruddering, ruddering, ruddering. Good. Cool. And a little bit flatter. Good. And so this, this was the moment where I'm like, man, am I carving to the left? And, and that's totally possible that, um, that I, I wasn't flying as straight as I thought that I was, um, but you can see that they're just, we just keep getting a little bit of distance in between us. I was cool. like, I'm So the only go. actual issue out of that whole thing is that your riser cover came open. Ah, I see it. Um, but uh, otherwise, no big deal with uh, getting on top of me. Good recovery. So um, I'm guessing, just because you already have, have received some instruction, 
generally, if you're having trouble, instability, whatever, the normal answer is to go faster, um, to speed up and keep flying. Uh, for and I think for the most part, there you did um, that with the little crash that happened. But um, keep that in mind because especially as the angle gets steeper and steeper, sometimes people's tendency when they get bobbled is to ball up and you don't want to do that. You want to straighten out, speed up, less resistance, go faster to get back in your slot and keep flying. And um, if you ever do a, uh, a fly for life camp, um, try if you can um, to, uh, oh God, how can I blank on her name? Um, Sharon, Sharon, uh, she's married to Shannon Pilcher now. Um, she was Sharon Harnoy, and now it's Sharon Harnoy Pilcher. Um, but she's uh, long dark hair, she wears kind of a reddish colored shorty suit. And um, she, if you probably will get a little seminar from her and there she has a video of um, a collision that happens in the middle of a steep angle jump. Um, Vince Raffet uh, is leading the jump and then Ricardo, who jumps locally, was on the jump. And there was a little bit of verbal and Ricardo balls up and goes sailing across the formation and hits somebody who's on the belly. And Vince speeds up also goes forward a little bit, but basically just puts his hand out, kind of, kind of just touches the person in front of him and goes back to flying. And so two very different reactions to basically the same situation that had very different results. The girl that Ricardo hit and like her whole chest was bruised um, and, he, and he really hit her hard. It felt terrible, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you can, ask Sharon about that. If, if you, um, She mostly jumps into land when she's here um, and I think her and Shannon live in land. Um, but anyway, uh, she has a great video of exactly that about speeding up um, if there's a bobble. Uh, okay, cool. And so break off. I, I actually peeled off from you a little bit this time. I don't know okay. if you saw that. Um, so we get a little bit more separation and I looked away right before you were doing your barrel roll and then I looked back and here you are, <laughs> yeah. uh, head down, uh, kind of going the wrong direction and I let out a little chuckle and then bitch my pilot shoot. Um, so uh, definitely utility if you have the patience to do it. Um, if you hear about someone doing a tracking jump, hey, can I come along? And especially small way tracking jumps, you get a lot of um, more freedom to do things that you might want to experiment with, is pull in as close as you want to the leader and flip to your back. And try to maintain position relative to the leader. If it's somebody uh, like super long and thin and they're doing a really flat track, you're definitely going to fall out. Like you, your back track is just probably not going to be as flat as your belly but then roll back to your belly and re recover. And so if they have more of a middle ground as far as the, the fall rate, then you can maybe stay with it on your back. But ideally you would like to turn over and really not lose altitude relative to the leader. That you would maintain your forward movement in a straight line and with the same amount of lift that you had prior to the transition. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, I was working. All right, vlog, sorry about the random cutoff of the video there. Um, I wanted to strike a balance between getting this information digested personally and also not encroach on Jason's game. I mean, he was cool enough to let me film the debrief and um, and to do these coaching while he was coaching that other team. So thanks again for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm going to be working on this angle fly skill more in the future. Obviously, we have a baby on the way and... Uh, the weather has kind of been poopy lately in Sebastian. So once we get some more time to do some jumps, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get it in there once we get everything sorted out. So I do appreciate all you guys who've been watching, everybody who's been subscribing, commenting. Um, this channel is really growing leaps and bounds since we started and especially in the last few months. So um, I think that's great. I think it's cool we got a little community going. I love you guys, and I'll see you back in the sky.